Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Learn. Today we are going to learn about neonatal tetanus. Neonatal tetanus is also known as maternal neonatal tetanus. It is a form of generalized tetanus that occurs in newborn. The infant who are delivered from an unimmunized mother during pregnancy are at high risk to get tetanus. Likewise, it usually occurs through infection of unhealed umbilical stem particularly when the stem is cut with an unsterile instrument. Moving towards the causative organism, Clostridium titani, a gram-positive anaerobic spore-forming bacilli. Now, the incubation period of neonatal titanus lasts from 3 to 21 days. Now, let's see the causes. Here, the primary causes are delivery of a child in an unhygienic environment or setup, use of unsterile instrument, Use of dirty wrappers. Apart from this, in an undeveloped countries due to illiteracy and cultural practices, delivery is still conducted in an unhygienic environment. Rusted knife, broken glass, and a bamboo bark are still in practice to cut the cord. Allied to this, cow dung, horse dung are used to seal the cord. So, what are the signs and symptoms of neonatal tetanus? In neonatal tetanus, Symptoms usually appear within 4 to 14 days after birth. The estimated fatality rate of an infant with neonatal tetanus ranges from 70 to 100 percent, and the death usually occurs within two weeks of birth. Whereas the other symptoms include irritable, crying, difficulty swallowing, locked jaw, muscles rigidity in the neck, abdomen, and trunk, repeated convulsion. Research sardonicus. Opistotonus. Now, what can be the prevention? Mothers should be given tetanus toxide vaccine during pregnancy. The vaccine is given twice if the mother is primigravida, whereas in case of multigravida, if the conception happened within 5-year period from the last birth, only one dose of tetanus toxide is given. Cords should be cut under aseptic precaution. Cord care should be given daily. Harmful practices for treating the cord must be avoided. At last, the treatment. The condition can be treated by administration of human tetanus immunoglobulin 3000 to 5000 unit via IM injection. If human tetanus immunoglobulin is not available, anti-tetanus serum ATS 5000 unit via IM injection can also be given. Give benzyl penicillin 1 lakh unit per kg per day for 5 days. To control the spasm, injection diazepam or injection midazolam can be given. Note, we told the injection diazepam if the baby's respiratory rate is less than 30 breaths per minute even if the babies continue to have spasm. That's all about neonatal tetanus. If you find our video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.